friends and welcome back to my channel my name is Tiffany and in today's video we are going to be tackling my Monica closet <laughs> if you don't know what a Monica closet is it's actually a friend's reference and it is the closet in your house where all of the things go to die like you just shove everything in the closet and slam the door shut and pretend it doesn't exist and that is my front closet here it's technically a coat closet but it really is kind of like the everything closet it's where coats live for sure but it's also where shoes live and soccer gear and grocery bags and really honestly I have no idea what else is in there so I try to clean this out at least like twice a year I haven't done it yet for 2024 it has been on my list I've actually moved it multiple times because I wasn't able to tackle it but I've got some time my house is mostly empty it's about to be even more empty everybody's gonna be gone i'm gonna be here by myself so i figured what better time than now because i can also throw things away when people are not home so without further ado let's tackle my monica closet okay so here's the closet that i'm referring to like i said it is our entryway closet it is technically a coat closet and this is what it looks like i did zero pre-cleaning so um, this is it in all of its glory, like literally just things shoved in there. And then it doesn't look so bad. And then the top just needs to be gone through. And then I have this great shoe rack here um, from Amazon. My daughter actually has one on the inside of her closet door too. These are fantastic for shoes. And now we use them to keep track of um, shin guards for soccer and soccer. Uh, what are these called? socks yes thank you um just to help us keep track of everything because it's easy to lose them i've been asked before when showing this closet why my kids don't keep their shoes upstairs in their room and that's because we don't allow shoes upstairs so instead of them bringing their shoes upstairs and then having to go upstairs and get them they just hang them here in this closet um so i know for sure that there are a bunch of shoes in there um, because i've seen them floating around so we need to get through that there's a jacket like there's just all kinds of stuff um stuff from the front porch that needs to get gone through so we'll go through all of this and hopefully get it reorganized and cleaned up to get started with this closet project, I'm going to make my way through the jackets. There are seven of us that live in this house, so of course, there are going to be a lot of jackets and a lot of sweatshirts, but we don't need as many as we have in here. We also need to bring some down to the basement since winter is slowly coming to an end, thank goodness, and we won't need them for a little while. So I'm just gonna go through all of the sweaters and jackets, get these organized, and then I'm gonna take everything out so that we can deep clean the rest.
Now that the jackets are out, it's time to tackle this bottom portion. I know from this angle, it's hard to tell how much stuff is in here, but this pile came up above my knees, you guys. This is a little bit embarrassing, but it is what it is. This happens. It's actually not a ton of different things. It's mostly the same items. It's primarily throw pillows, and then it's also a ton of reusable bags. I have so many reusable bags because I live kind of in a tri-state area of New England. I I have Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island all rolled into one, and Massachusetts shopping doesn't require, for the most part, that you bring your own bags, but Connecticut does, and I'm not really sure about Rhode Island. I haven't shopped there a ton, but I end up forgetting bags when I shop in Connecticut and end up needing to buy ones because I shop so often in Massachusetts that I forget that I need them. So I need to be better about bringing the bags. I'm just gonna put one of these larger bags full of bags into my car. Then I just have to remember to bring them out of my car. It's such a pain in the neck, but I know I can do it if I just try to make an effort. Okay, so here's everything from the closet. Holy cow. <laughs> this is all throw pillows <laughs> uh, from the front porch, uh, mostly 4th of July. I don't know why I didn't just put it away. Um, these two are two bags full of reusable bags, like cloth bags. Holy cow, we have so many of those. Um, and then I've got like empty backpacks for the kids. Um, an empty lunchbox and some fall decor that needs to get put away. And then over there, we've got a pile of shoes. Um, and then I did take out like the coats and um, over here, I took out coats as well. This, These are all like snow things that can go downstairs to the basement. Whoop, one's falling because it is not snow season anymore. And then I did make a pile over there on the sofa of ones we need to go through to make sure somebody wants those. So not too bad. I mean, this is all gonna be easy to clean up. Um, I'm gonna vacuum and then we're gonna tackle the top and organizing the shoes and then we'll figure out the rest. and work on this top shelf now so this is kind of where we just keep things that we need to find but we don't need immediately or all the time so that little basket right there has old cleats and town soccer uniforms in it and that other basket that I just had 
had shoes that don't fit anybody. And then this one here also just has more like soccer socks that are a little bit too big for the boys that I have in soccer right now. So I'm just trying to combine things that I know we're going to need and I don't want to bring them down to the basement where I may not remember where they are right away. So just having them in here works and just keeps things readily easy to find and keeps them organized. And now it's time to tackle this insane mess. So I'm starting off here with these bags of bags, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, I know. But like I said, we just need them sometimes and I never seem to have them. I'm then going to grab empty uh, backpacks and lunch boxes and computer bags, that kind of thing, and get those put away. As I mentioned already, the biggest pile there is all of those throw pillows. So I just went ahead and sorted out some of the patriotic items that I had and put those up in the closet since those will be the next holiday items to go out on the porch and put a couple of those throw pillows that I'll probably be using and then the rest of them went down to the basement. I'm just going to take a second to kind of reorganize in here. So I've got those throw pillows that I wanted to have readily accessible. And then I did also use that vintage basket there for umbrellas and our flag for now. I'll put it back up as the weather gets nicer now. And I'm also going to reorganize the shoes and get all of the ones down on the floor put into a bag for me to drop them off at our local Salvation Army.
closet is done. The floor is clean. <laughs> Let me just give you a little reminder of what this looked like before. Oh my goodness. And here it is after enough room for a little kitty to go explore. I took some time to just kind of go through the shoes. I moved ones that were big and didn't necessarily fit anybody right this second or that didn't get used all the time to the top. And then um, like outdoor, like garden shoes or running in the mud. And then I left this section open for shin guards and socks. They're at soccer now, so most of them are gone. And then this section is for Griffin, and this section is for Ryan. So Ryan's the youngest, so he's at the bottom. I also added in a basket. That basket there is actually from a local antique store, and it's holding uh, some umbrellas and our American flag, which will go outside on our porch here soon. And then on the other side, I did put a bag of reusable bags for when we go shopping and two extra backpacks that the kids use for like sleepovers so they don't have to empty out their backpack. <laughs> There's Luna. <laughs> She's always gotta be with mama, so. I also thinned out the jacket situation. I already told you I did make a pile there of ones that I need to bring down and put away. Those are all like um, snow jackets and snow pants and everything that we don't need anymore. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and I just put all of Danny and Aiden's jackets over here. These are jackets from Walmart, by the way, that I love. Danny got this one like two or three years ago. This one he just recently got this year and I'm obsessed. Um, and then I've got little boy jackets. These are like raincoats and just easy, just toss on. Um, and then I've got my jackets back here, raincoat and then some jean jackets. So, and then up top, that one there has old uniforms that they still play for that same town. They still play, you know, town soccer. Um, however, they don't fit anybody like right this second, but we're gonna keep them because they will fit somebody at some point. This one here, I just tossed in some of my patriotic decor for the porch because we're gonna be decorating for Memorial Day soon enough. So instead of taking it all the way downstairs, I'm just gonna leave it up there for now. That was empty and we'll put it away when I put that stuff away at the end of the season. And then this basket was also empty. So right now it just has those two throw pillows in it from Walmart um, from last year. And I just left them up there because I might toss them out on the porch when I'm finished with the makeover. And then that box there is full of <laughs> like stuff. It's got like Michaela's old Girl Scout stuff in it and other things like that. And it's just up there for now because I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I wanna talk to Danny about it first and he is just not home right now, so. That is what the closet looks like. I'm sorry you can hear my washing machine going in the background, but I did leave the bottom just open like that because during the school week, the boys hang their um, backpacks here on these hooks. Right now I have my um, old, <laughs> that is a wreath. I did put this yellow wreath up for now, um, but uh, during the weekend, we put all of the backpacks into the closet. And that way, you know, I think what I'm gonna get is like a rubber mat for the bottom so we can put other shoes and stuff down there or boots or whatever um, so they can still be put away in the closet. But I am feeling so much better now that this is done. I know this was a short little video, wasn't that big of a deal, but this is a huge deal to me and I'm just thrilled that I got this done on a random school night and you know was able to just tackle a little project like this so i encourage you if you have a little bit of free time to tackle something on your list because it sure does feel very rewarding now my friends is going to bring us to the end of this short little organize with me video i hope you found some motivation and like i said this hopefully just reminds you to tackle something small if you have a little bit of time it doesn't always have to be big huge projects and it's okay if your house gets away from you <laughs> as mine so often does it happens 
it can get put back together again. Don't panic. So thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.